Irvin Schrodinger and Niels Bohr, followed by Picard. Schrodinger, who developed wave mechanics, never agreed with Bohr and quantum mechanics, nor with Werner Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Solvay gave Heisenberg an opportunity to discuss his new theory. Here's French physicist Léon Brillouin, Hendrik Kramers, Bohr's former assistant, and Paul Dirac talking with Max Born, whose statistical interpretation of the wave function ended determinism in the atomic world. These men, Bohr, Heisenberg, Kramers, Dirac, and Born, together with Wolfgang Pauli, represent the founding fathers of quantum mechanics. On the other hand is Louis de Broglie, who wrote his dissertation on the wave nature of matter which Schrodinger used as the basis for wave mechanics. The owner of the camera, Irving Langmuir, is seen chatting briefly with Bohr. At Solvay, Bohr refined his thoughts on complementarity inspired with Einstein over the implications. Here he's with Paul Ehrenfest. Kramer's work in Copenhagen on dispersion theory was essential to the development of quantum mechanics. Langmuir, an American chemist at the GE lab in Schenectady, hence the camera, had recently broken his leg and appears to explain to Ehrenfest how he gets around. By 1927, Dirac in the middle had independently developed quantum mechanics and made other significant contributions, as had Wolfgang Pauli, who formulated the exclusion principle. A lively Madame Curie? Born in Pauli working out a problem. Note the changed demeanor as the participants exit from the meeting, except for the smiling William Lawrence Bragg and Peter Debye, Arthur Holly Compton, Owen Richardson, Max Bourne, Madame Curie, Hendrik Kramers, H. A. Lawrence, Paul Langevin, Albert Einstein, whose famous response to Bourne and the statistical interpretation of the wave function was, God does not play dice. Bohr, Planck, Pauli, and Belgian soldiers, a portentous conclusion.